Hey guys, picking up where we left off last time, we finished with kind of finding our area, um, going down and checking out the ravine, getting some sheep and everything set up, and kind of coming up with our overall game plan of where our first little settlement and build is going to be with our little gnome garden shed inspired build, which is what I'm working on first. In this episode, I had some different intentions. I do make a map. We do end up finding a zombie spawner that ends up being attached to a mine shaft. And so my overall thought was to convert the um, zombie spawner into an XP farm. But I had the realization that I obviously needed to light up the mine shaft around, which then ended up leading to me filming for um, <laughs> over seven hours, I think, of just trying to clear out the mine shaft. And in ending this video, I'm still not done with it. So the XP farm is going to have to wait to the next video I put out. But we made awesome progress. I find a lot of cool things. I end up finding my glowstone. So you guys will see that stuff through this video. I feel like we made great progress. I have a lot of sheep. I named my horse. And I'm still sick and recovering, at least within my voice. So I apologize that that's a little off still, but I'm just trying to work through it. So without further ado, let's jump into this second episode of our hardcore series. Okay guys, we are back. Let's jump right back in to our hardcore world. And yeah, I think my biggest focus is to, I mean, if we remember, I got my little horsey. But I think my biggest focus this episode is going to be turning more of this into farmland. Um, and then I legitimately think I'm going to just be going down in there and mining and seeing what we can come out with. Um, realistically, I would love to... I have the wrong skin on. I gotta go change that. Okay. Okay. Let's try this again. I did get my skin changed back. I realized I was Alex there for a minute. But I do, what I was trying to say is I do think I'm going to come through here, clear all this out, see how much I can get from, I don't know, just legitimately um, mining. I would love a stack of diamonds. That seems like that's extreme. But I'm hoping at least... I could get somewhere close to that. Yeah, I'm going to say I would like to be close to that just so I can actually feel like I'm, you know, I can upgrade already to my iron, my iron armor to diamond and then obviously need to get um, situated with, what am I trying to say? I feel like then I need to get situated <clears throat> with everything because I my biggest thing is like getting enchanted gear. I would love all diamond enchanted gear um, as soon as possible because then I can try to start enchanting and get, I mean, I'm hilariously lucky if I get anything like mending and stuff I need to find villagers I feel like to be the most efficient with all of that but on on top of all of that I think it would just be really useful obviously to have diamond gear set up <clears throat> get my enchanted table my biggest concern is silk touch because if I want to actually incorporate the mushrooms into everything um, you know, then I'm gonna need Silk Touch. <gasps> Hi, you only have one. Okay, let's go to sleep. And then I want to see what he has. He better not have Drip Leaf, because I can't buy any of it. So just, like, don't, and we'll call it good. Oh, you don't have anything I actually want, so that's okay. Um, but... 
My biggest thing was that I wanted leads. But I can craft them, so I don't need to kill them. Because I was having this discussion with AK, because I, I was calling him a wandering lead salesman. Um, and a lot of people in our mod group are against killing them. And so I promised that I wouldn't. Even though I really want your lead, man. Hi, cutie. Anyway, what I was saying is then I will need Silk Touch to obviously get all the mushroom pieces that I need to then build our mushroom house. So I think we're going to start with turning some more of this into um, we're going to start turning all this into some more farmland. Kind of like I said in the intro, um, I'm still recovering from being sick and my voice is um, overall pretty, not the best, so definitely I'm going to try to avoid talking as much as I can. Um, yeah, and then we'll go from there. I <clears throat> think I'm going to remove these because I would rather be able to turn all of this here into some kind of farmland and keep all of this over here, um, the sugar cane, and that will start to give us quite a bit of paper. I'm going to work on getting a stack of seeds and then I will be back. We found his other llama. Poor guy, I'll have to go rescue him. I also forgot to say we are on day 19. I'm starting this, so we'll see how long it takes or how many days we get to when we finish this video. Okay, so we're at 61. We need three more. I thought it was gonna take longer than this, so. We need one more. Which one of you? There we go. We got a stack of seeds, so now we can have a whole field of wheat going. I might have to eventually, um, I should have cleared out this area. We'll do this area too. Um, so now we have more than 64, but I'm going to breed these guys too. Let's see what colors we got. Where are all the babies? Let me out, let me out. What colors are our babies? So we got a magenta. So we got a light gray, a light blue, a cutie magenta, a dark blue, a white. And a dark, no I said light gray, dark gray, blue, white, magenta, and dark blue. Yay! So we got magenta naturally on its own, just by mixing the colors. We still only have the one pinkest sheep. I am going to turn down animal sounds. Holy smokes. I think that hopefully will be a little bit better. I want to sleep. <clears throat> but we did get magenta naturally. Cutest little baby right there. Um, so then I think the only colors that we are missing 
is orange and green. So then maybe I specifically tried to get the blue and the yellow sheep to have baby. That should give me green, should it not? And then I have to get the yellow and the red together to make the orange. Or maybe I just keep spam clicking and seeing what happens. So now we have a stack plus five. I just, I want to kill him so he can go away, but at the same time, I don't have any emeralds to buy any drip leaf if he gave any of it right now anyway. Okay. So, we can come out four from the water source. One, two, three, four, which is correct. So then I think we will dump water there and then I feel like I need to make some slabs and put a light on it so let's do that real quick I probably will have some slabs up here given all the stuff that I've done uh, yes you know you want to walk in that pen pig you know you want to just uh oh it definitely would be nice to get some carrots. Whoops, went right into it. Okay, so then we can go one, two, three, four. I think we'll make this entire first hill like from here kind of around this entire area, all of this. I think I'm gonna get rid of the gravel and put some more um, dirt there. Cause y'all know we got dirt. We got dirt for days. Maybe I should have grabbed some more. But if you guys remember, I did say that um, there is no wasting blocks to me in the game. Um, so I absolutely will be saving all the gravel eventually. Hopefully I can have a villager that I can trade all of it with. The flint anyway. And then this entire layer where all my noisy sheep and cows are at. I want to turn this entire layer into, and I might cut this one back a bit to let them have even more space, um, but then make this entire layer just for them to have like the room to wander, I guess, if that's the right way to say it. So we've got the wheat spread out a bit more. Got sugar cane. I should probably have this here. And I think we are going to go off and start digging. And then when we come back from digging a bit down here, then we'll keep spreading the wheat on this layer and yeah I need to at some point brave start braving killing things because I need to um, get string so that way I can start fishing I also need to probably be focusing on killing zombies so then that way hopefully I could get I think they drop carrot or potato or is it the drown that drop potatoes? I can't remember. Um, so I probably need to be working on that. However, I am going to take my bed with me, of course. And we're gonna go start digging. Let me grab some cobblestone and some wood so I can make sticks, but then also make another crafting table. I am going to take one of these. I'll craft myself another crafting table just so 
Actually, I think I have one down there, so maybe I should check that out before I go for it. Grab some cobblestone. Not only to be able to, like, build with, but then be able to make more tools if I need them. So we'll have backup beef. And I'm going to snag this to go with us. And I'm probably going to sleep before I go down. Just to be smart. Might possibly consider building a stable today if we have time. Obviously, need to find myself a saddle at some point. Okay, so let's start our mining adventure down here and hold on before i go down there i remembered i completely spaced and then remembered um while i was editing i need to be careful with some of these holes but then i remembered while i was editing the first video that the, for some reason i guess i thought it was a lot further oh i don't want to mess with the banner boy I don't like them. I wish they would just like not. I wish they would go away. Um, but what I was going to say is I remember that we had found this big giant hole that will go down um, next to our swamp right there. And we can also go investigate that. I don't have any villagers around so I can't start a raid. And I do have cows to get rid of everything. Am I dumb to go seeking out trying to fight them on purpose? That seems a little dumb. But then I could get a banner. I just don't want to die. So then it feels dumb to be like specifically searching out, possibly hurting myself. He's like shooting in the opposite direction. Okay, so I got him. Now we have to get our other boy up over here. Let me eat. Be smart here. I have to remember I'm in hardcore and I don't have my OP armor like I do in our mod situation. Did he just disappear? He did disappear. Did he not? <gasps> A glow ink! Yay! That's really intimidating to see that there. Hopefully we can get water breathing at some point. That was just... Dang it! I went after him specifically so I could get his banner. But reality is, is that I have this whole area that I could go mining around in as well. But I think I am completely going to... Um, try to go around in this ravine and see kind of what happens at the bottom of it before I really end up going anywhere else. You know? You know. The other part of me just wants to try to collapse in um, all of this and see what happens, but I also need to go investigate that spot. So yes, and then here was my crafting table. So we're going to pick this up and take this with us too. I already have the furnace down here, but you know what? That's, let's just take it. That way, in case we come across a lot of stuff, we'll be able to cook it. Double check that I don't have any holes anywhere down here. Because I think I wanted to try to figure out how to start digging down, possibly. But I want to collect all the ores no matter what. 
I will find a way to use copper, even though I can't think of whatever type of way that might be right now. Because I think right now I would like to... There's iron there. I would like to find a way just to dig down more like here so that I keep creating like this spiral going down. I think we're going to continue trying to mine down and around on this level to be able to light that up over there before going down into that cave. And the water is here, but it makes me feel like there's something kind of beyond it down there, so we may have to investigate that later. I wonder if it's a zombie spawner nearby? They all sound like they're behind me. Is it in here? I don't know. I feel like I might need to go investigate from the other angle, but I want to try to dig this out first. Awesome, here's that iron. And I feel like it's turning nighttime. I can't wait to have my voice back. <laughs> I feel like we should try it. Oh, it's not nighttime yet, but it's getting there, I feel like. Okay, next day. I think we are officially on day 22 already. I was going to say day 20. Just kidding. We're on day 22 already. This is going by fast. It's kind of giving me a bit of a different perspective from people that rush. Not rush, but I guess people that do the 100 day videos. Because then I'm just like, how, how do you, how are you able to get so much done? Because I feel like I haven't really accomplished anything. And I'm not anywhere near 100 days yet, of course. But like... I'm close enough that it's like I feel like it would be difficult to make a lot of progress before a hundred days. <clears throat> yep, I just want to light this area up down here. So that way nothing somehow magically spawns over here and can kill me. Because this just seems... Like the perfect place for something spooky to spawn. And I actually don't think that this goes anywhere. So it will have to continue on from the other side. So I may have to do that. But I do want to get over here and grab these two things. A coal and that glow lichen first. So let's keep digging around. So I hear zombies over here. But it's like... Where are you at, though? Because they're really loud. So clearly it fills. Why is this here? Is this a dungeon? <gasps> this has to be a dungeon. I didn't place these here. Oh, no. <clears throat> it is. Yes, so that means we have a zombie spawner right below our base up there. And I never did grab those uh, glow lichen like I said I was going to. I got sidetracked. Let's go back and grab those real quick. So that's awesome. That means that then we have a zombie spawner over there. So that's wonderful news, right? Right? Oh, they were up there. Okay. Let's just do a quick one of these before I go investigate that further. There was more, right? Yes. 
and I'll grab those in a second. Let's be smart here. I am playing on hardcore <laughs> because I'm just getting a little loosey-goosey with my movement, kind of just jumping around. Probably not the smartest. Okay, let's go see the zombies, the spawner we have. Okay. Clearly, I'm just going to keep spawning more um, while I'm standing here. So, yep, we have a dungeon with zombies. Hello, everyone. I def don't want to fall in there. That will be the end of this hardcore. <laughs> and it's a mine shaft? No way. You guys, did we just get that lucky? No way. Okay, so we could turn this into a zombie spawner. Oh, no way. It is a mine shaft. You guys, what an epic find. I apologize. I have the game sounds turned down, but I know this is still obnoxiously really loud. So give me just a minute to kind of make this space a little bit safer first, and I'll be back. Especially with that baby one. What if I find a saddle in here? And then... Oh shit, 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 shit. I'm hitting him with a pickaxe. I didn't even think about... I'm gonna die here. Okay, I need to be smart here and put another block right there. Because if that baby zombie comes around... Oh, I'm so stressed out! And it sounds like they've fallen down even more over here. But I want to take a look in there and see if there's a saddle. There has to be so much more zombies somewhere. Oh my god, you guys, look at that. Okay. Yes, a name tag. Okay, awesome. Coal, gunpowder. Let's put some stuff in here that I don't necessarily want right this second. But we found quite a bit of coal and iron and everything so far. So now I need to get down there to kill all of them. But I want to finish lighting this up. Okay, so now we need to get down here to kill these guys. I'm just scared. I don't have that great of a sword. And a lot of them have picked items up, so they're going to have to be. We're just going to block all of this in for now. But I do need to come over here and kill all these guys. So hopefully I can. No, I can't. Shoot. Okay. Let's see. How are we going to do this? There's a creeper. I don't want any part of that. Okay, so I think if I end up leaving and then coming back, 
I should be okay. You can hear skellies. I saw a creeper down there. So this is an awesome find. We will be able to turn this into a farm. There is the mine shaft. Um, I mean that I kind of covered up right here. That seems like it goes underneath in that way, which is blocked behind that. And there's a ton of zombies down there that I'm going to eventually have to take out. I bet you that it's probably nighttime again. So let's be safe and sleep. You see all the subtitles? There's so many different things that want me down there. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. Make sure we're safe. We need to um, immediately upgrade our sword. Honestly, all of our tool set. So we'll get out of here. Because we've been down here for a while and like within our spawn, not spawn chunks, but within our housing chunks, we should be able to go through and um, harvest everything that's in our crops so we can keep expanding that. I literally could have just gone across right there and not had to run around in a circle, but you know, maybe at some point. We will do like the bubble elevator or something. Let's go smelt down all of our stuff and see how much we got. That way we can actually upgrade all of our tools to being iron. Put, I forgot I took one down with me. I took two down with me. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pop all of this in there. We'll put all the iron in this one. I definitely need to find some diamond. Um, because, I mean, enchantment table, obviously. I feel like that's really important. The tools are important. But the fact that we get to make an XP farm... Because I'm not very knowledgeable when it comes to farms, to be honest. So <clears throat> that kind of stuff makes me a little nervous about jumping in because I don't exactly know a bunch about farms. So to be agree on like starting a farm or something, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with this copper while I'm over here letting it do its thing. I do have a name tag, so we, but we need more iron because I need to change the name tag or can I just name him name tag? <laughs> I don't want to do that yet. <clears throat> I also, while we're waiting on that stuff, let's come over here and harvest some of this stuff so then that way we can keep going. I honestly find so much joy in this like mundane stuff in one of the um, servers that I'm in. It's like one of my favorite things to do is to grind um, for stuff to sell the villagers for emeralds so we could have mending. So all these like daily chore type things, I'm all for it. We gotta start working on the cows more because we are going to have more than enough paper for um, getting books going. To be honest, I wasn't prepared for the mine shaft in any kind of way. Um, I feel like that's just a little farther than I am willing to go within this whole like situation of everything. Um, it does make me nervous. So I'm, I'm really not sure 
how I want to proceed when it comes to the mine shaft. I feel like that is, especially with like in relation to creepers, that is going to be the easiest way I am going to get myself killed. And I really don't want to mess with that. Sweet, so we've got quite a bit of iron. We can make another block of copper. I do absolutely want an iron sword. How is my armor is doing fine? I don't feel like I need to do anything else with that right now. Ooh, I do have enough iron for that, I think. But I'm not going to need it for a while, so maybe I'll wait on making that auto kind of status. I do need to make an iron hoe. That's what I need to make for sure. So we've expanded out the wheat quite a bit and I do fully believe I need to cut some of these back a bit so that way I can do like this and be smart so I'm not destroying like everywhere that I'm trying to walk basically. <laughs> between the layers of all of my stuff because the last thing I want to do is come over here and just absolutely destroy um, my crops. Let's grab my paper, see what I can make book-wise because I have to have books to do bookshelves, right? Yes, so then I can make three bookshelves, which is awesome. Okay, so we're gonna store these in there, along with my paper. I'm trying to think of what I wanna do next exactly. I think most importantly, I would like to figure out the best way to dig down, to get down over to this other spot. You know, where I'm coming out. Oh, I was one off of the like initial place. That way then I can make steps down here and just put barrels like everywhere. Put barrels everywhere. Make it a little more breathable. I think this would be a pretty decent place for a first like storage setup. Hi, pretty horsey. You're cute. <laughs> okay, so then we have this. I think I'm gonna cut this back one. I'll call it, okay. So then we could go up here. I mean, there's just so much to do. I'm a little torn on what to do next, to be completely honest. I do want to try to just breed the yellow and the red together. Oh God, I shouldn't have fallen in here. Okay, I just want a yellow and a red. Let's see if I could go yellow and 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 red. Where's my orange baby? Yay! Okay, so then we gotta do yellow and blue, which there are two of them over here. So yellow and blue 
should give me a green baby. What? Is it? Wait a minute. Can you not make green? Wait a second. Or was that just not how that's supposed to work? Do I have to actually go get cactus and smelt it to get a green one? Because I did a yellow and a red. Or do I have to do the darker color first? Let's investigate here a bit and then I feel like I need to actually take on dealing with the dungeon a bit. Well, our first creeper. <sighs> There's two creepers. Okay, let's be smart here, Cass. Do I need to come in here? Not necessarily a need. But I'm not mad if both of these boys want to blow up. Or they could all just slip down. <laughs> okay, so we got creepers and stuff down there. This makes me nervous and I don't, I don't want to push it too hard. So I think I'm going to grab this iron and then call it good over here. I'm not ready to explore this yet. I don't need to push myself. I have a dungeon to dig out and make an XP farm from next to a mine shaft. So I feel like I need to call my losses. It's not a loss. I need to take myself in stride here. So if we go yellow, orange, red, brown, brown, dark gray, we need light gray, white, pink, magenta, purple, dark blue, light blue, cyan, green, lime green is, I think, I think I'm going to finish up kind of terraforming and filling this in and I'll be back when I'm done with that. I'm going to move this because we had enough stuff to make a, um, why am I blanking on the word? To make a, uh, oh my goodness. What is the word I'm looking for? To be able to manually make or um, automatically make bone mill. That won't mess too much with that, will it? <laughs> Let's put a piece of dirt up, like one higher than that. So it still looks like that's there. So we have leftover stuff having filled in and I think I want to make more paper, to be honest. I don't know how much more I'm going to need for books. But we will have plenty there. Um, plus sugar cane is growing, but we can do this now and start making bone mill. And then it goes from this chest. This probably goes without explaining. This is a really simple, easy, automatic bone mill kind of farm. You put the seeds in there like you saw me do. It goes through this hopper into the composter in through this hopper in here. And we got one piece of bone mill out of all of that. Um, but the biggest reason 
that I wanted to set that up is because you can see now this entire lower level, well, minus this, <laughs> but this entire lower level down here is now farmland. So any of the seeds, unless we like want to start another area of all wheat, which we can in the future, we'll get plenty of seeds from this. But once I finish this little bit here, when I get to the point of being able to um, get through this a little faster over here, then obviously all of my extra seeds I don't really need anymore. There goes my shovel. And then that way we can turn around and turn it all into bone mill, which will help me grow all kinds of things. My horse is still in there, right? Yes, I keep, I'm like so worried that he'll despawn, but I feel like I heard from someone that because he loves, or he's my best friend, or I loved him, or whatever you want to call it, that we should be okay. I cannot believe how quick it keeps turning dark. It feels like I literally just woke up <laughs> two seconds ago. We have to be on day 30. Like, we have to be. Day 28 already. <clears throat> I feel like the end of this video needs to end with me creating the XP farm down there. So, let's think about everything we need to get that started. So, one thing that I don't really understand um, at all about making... What did I just do with my stuff? Here we go. About making this XP farm with the zombies is like I don't really feel like I fully understand how to do it most effectively because, girl, I watch tons of Minecraft, so that's like not ever really my concern. Um... My concern is, for one, I need to go check out this other cave. Like, I can't keep just, like, ignoring it. Um, see, I'm already getting sidetracked again, which was not at all my intention. But it doesn't go anywhere, which is even better for me, but it's lit up. And we'll get some copper out of it. Um, but anyway, what I was saying is I watch my fair share of Minecraft. And I see that people, when they make like XP farms, they have them go up through like a bubble elevator. Which I would have to go to the nether for the soul sand for that. Um, but they make them go up in like a bubble elevator to then um, come back down so they're all one hit. But I don't, I, I mean, I don't really understand that. I feel like I have some basic knowledge, so maybe we can upgrade the farm at some point to be more like that. Um, but to start, I feel like, yeah, basically to start, I feel like the easiest way to approach this is going to be, um, let's go down right here. The easiest way to approach this situation is to dig it out and do what I know, because it has to be four in each direction. Um, <clears throat> to say that I'm terrified to do this while in hardcore is an understatement. I forgot I even shoved stuff in here. Um, but we know that there's the mine shaft and a ton of creeps in there. But I need to go four above it. So one, two, three. I need to go up one everywhere. So let me dig this out. And then I will check back in with you guys after. Okay, checking in. This is where we have gotten so far. So obviously our ravine, clearly it looks like it's nighttime. 
I feel like I still need to be sleeping even though I'm like semi protected down here. So we've been working on trying to spread and open this up a bit. Um, obviously I left these stairs in. This is where we come in. We're going the four out up you know down on each side this cleared out to here but I blocked this off because obviously I'm not ready to go in there yet um, I believe it goes down right here too as we can see so you know we can see that it, it goes down right here as well but I'm like 100% not ready to go investigate all of that yet I'm really not. Not all for it. No. So, it goes on for a bit. I just see more tracks. Hopefully, honestly, if we could find some of our glowberries in here, that would be amazing. But I am going downward, but I am trying to be smart and safe because this is the mine shaft right here. So I'm trying to work around it, but down to this one, I believe, is four. Because we have one, two, three, and then this is the fourth layer down. So basically everything needs to be brought down to this layer right here. Um, to be good. So I feel like I need to go investigate all of the mineshaft. And dig it all not dig it up but light it all up I can hear obviously footsteps and stuff so I don't I'm not comfortable yet messing with all of that <clears throat> so for this second I am going to pause it right here on making this I was gonna say spider spawner it's not a spider spawner it's a zombie spawner um I don't know I'm a little torn because part of me just wants to, like, see, I would have just fallen in there. Part of me just wants to power through and dig down all the layers that need to be dug down. But then again, at the same time, like, I really don't want to just be digging into all of this. I just don't know if I'm ready. I feel like I need to go down in there and investigate things before I just start going for it. So. What is that? What is that? Oh, that's a bat. He's got his little eyes closed. I was like, what is floating? What new thing did they add that I don't know about? <laughs> so that'll be our ending of our wall. Um, you know, but like I said, hi, cute bat. I'm just scared. I'm scared to just go digging around without adventuring in there and I don't know if I feel brave enough to go handle all of that you know I would really like to get this up and running though so I might just have to force myself to power through and kind of get over it a bit you know basically so one two three and four so then this will be our base layer so we should be able to chop all of these out. <clears throat> oh. See? And there's a creeper right there. So it's like I don't... I don't want to go messing around with all of this stuff yet, guys. I just... I don't feel comfortable enough to... Feel like I can back out of everything safely enough. I just don't. So... I'm just not ready to do any of it yet. Not right this second. I want to be safe and smart. <laughs> Especially with the creeper that was just standing right there. So we should be able to pull this back. That creeper right there. Like, 
the last thing I want to mess with. Oh, see, and there's a creeper in there, too. There's, like, two! Quickest way... <gasps> no, 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 no! Exactly what I didn't want to have happen. Thank God I have a shield is all that I can say. My heart is racing, like... Hardcore, I don't want to mess around with you. I really don't. <laughs> I'm just not ready. I'm in my own head. I'm too scared about it, and that's fine.